so this special day has finally arrived and a lovely setting it is too. We've got a World Heritage Site, the Cathedral here just behind and of course Durham University, prestigious and ancient seat of learning where Laura and Dan and many others I believe first met. You are the best man. <laughs> Laura's always had bundles of optimism and enthusiasm and the most obvious example of this has been her interest in rowing. I remember her first win in a singles race at uh, Hexham as if it were yesterday and being cheered and applauded by her delighted friends and teammates. <laughs> I worked in Durham for several years, in fact I was working here when Laura was born and never imagined I would one day be sharing a vintage car here as a proud dad <laughs> with my beautiful daughter on the way to her wedding. Will you please raise your glasses now and join with me in wishing the newlyweds, Laura and Dan, a long, healthy and very happy future life together. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are two very special people who can't be here today due to the COVID situation, and that is Laura's nana and granddad. But Laura, I just wanted to say that they're definitely thinking of you today, and they cannot wait to sit down with you on the couch in Workington and watch the video back. Indeed, I'm going to give nana a quick wave. <laughs> so that, of course, leaves me with one person still to mention and that is my wife. Laura once told me that she was the fittest girl in college. I like, if I tried. If she tried. <laughs> and I think today she's proved that right. She's looking absolutely gorgeous. Having spent the past decade in an all boys school, and as Paul can attest to, I had no idea how to go about dating. And therefore, in desperation, on the last day of the year, I turned to the dating app of 2012, Facebook Messenger. Now, I know there are some dating app users in the party today, so for your benefit, and as it has clearly worked, I thought I would dig out that first message. <laughs> so in one beautiful expression of love, I told Laura that I couldn't see her the following day because I was going out cycling with my dad. <laughs> Start as you mean to go on. And I informed her that I hadn't come to say goodbye to her at dinner that evening because, and I quote, I had been distracted by the curly fries. <laughs> Anyone who went to college in Durham would understand. <laughs> but despite its complete ineptitude, that message was the best thing that I've ever written. And it sparked the greatest friendship of my life. Team Dora really is the dream team. <laughs> Even Chloe Cox, as mentioned, agrees. At no point over those five years of long distance, the countless six hour train journeys to Cambridge, did I question why I was doing it. Because I was doing it for you. I never tired of that journey in the same way that I never tired of being your boyfriend and I will never tire of being your husband. I'm immensely proud to call you my wife and I am really excited for our life together moving into our first house back in Horsforth. So as a final toast, I want to raise my glass to my best friend, to my soulmate, to my wife, to Laura. So I'd just like to congratulate the newlywed couple. And um, Laura, I'm so glad you've married Daniel. I like it how you, that you always get involved with these silly challenges. And that doesn't mean that you're out of the, uh, the loop for these <laughs> sorts of things. And uh, I wish you all the best. Um, so I'd like to, if everybody could see, please stand for a toast. And I'd like to congratulate the newlywed couple. And here's to many happy years along the way and many exciting adventures. Cheers.
Stir.